Hey everyone, Cordell here with 911 Rapid Response, bringing you a vehicle showcase from our brand new building located on 700 West Main Street, Anvil, PA. The vehicle we're going to be going over is a 2016 Ford Interceptor SUV utility. This vehicle has recently been completed for the West Shore Regional Police Department, and it's actually a K9 vehicle. Now, the equipment for the K9 that you're going to see on this vehicle was supplied by K9 Guardian, a partner with 911 Rapid Response that offers K9 training, K9 themselves, accessories for K9, bite suits, along with cage systems for inside your vehicle, completely custom or standard units like we're going to see inside this interceptor utility here. We have the lights all lit up. We're going to take a quick walk around the vehicle here. We have a Phoenix lighting package installed on this vehicle. Starting up front, we have the Go Rhino aluminum push bar. This is a newer push bar from Go Rhino, uh, or I should say it's a newer coating, a newer coating on their push bars. It's kind of a matte, rough finish. Uh, looks pretty sharp on the cars. Up on the front here, we have the orders of the Apollo from Phoenix. It's the Apollo series, not the Fusion yet, it's the Apollo. So we have red, blue, dual color. And then around the sides, being we have that slick top car, we have blue white on this side and red white on that side, allowing you to have an alley light without your light bar. Located in the fog light area, we have the Canon Red Blue 120 for that side intersection warning. And as we wrap around the side of the vehicle, panning up, we see that Apollo interior visor bar, dual color. So you have red, white, blue, white in every module, which is going to give you that full flood feature. On the side of the vehicle, again, keeping with that theme of giving you alley lighting, we have the Canon 120, red, white on this side, blue, white on the other side. And when I would turn on the alley lights to the vehicle, you would get white out of the Canon and white out of the Apollo on the push bar. And as we continue back to look at the lighting, you're going to notice the graphics package done here in-house by Market Graphics. So Rapid Response is that true one-stop shop giving you that vehicle, your graphics package, and your canine accessories all in one place, one building at one time. Along the bottom, here we have the Fusion Series. This is the Fusion Rocker Panel Lights equipped on this utility here for excellent side warning. We've installed two sets of cannons here. We have red and white alternating back and forth in the light housing for extra rear lighting. We have the Fusion Series mounted beside the rear license plate in red-blue. And we have an older Cobra light stick mounted in the rear window for added rear warning. Flip open our hatch and we have a mercury switch that will turn off our light stick and our lights on our uh, beside our license plate. And we can choose either red or white on this switch or off if the officer would not want to be detected while the trunk is open. Here in the back part of the cage system, we have installed a rifle and storage mount or, or whatever you'd want to store in here. It's on a gas shock, can go up, store whatever items you'd like, can lock. And the drawer also locks as well, slides right out. Storage still retained underneath the drawer system. The vehicle itself is equipped with the Ace K9 Hot and Pop Pro system, one of their newer systems, the remodeled version. So we have a door popper on this door, so I'll just, and the door will open itself. You can also open the door from inside the vehicle or from a remote pager that the officer wears as well. Now here we have a K9 compartment. Um, inside the compartment, there is a light, again, that will go between red and white for illuminating the K9 compartment. We've installed the fan here. Um, all of the equipment that you see here was supplied by K9 Guardian. So any of the items you see here you may want, you can contact Rapid Response and we can go ahead and get you any of these items you may be interested in. So we have the window bars, we have the door panels, and we have the custom cage inserts. Now this insert, half of this is for the dog. There is a center section here that opens for the dog to exit out the front of the vehicle as well. And on the other side, you retain prisoner transport. So we'll go over and take a look at that now. Now on this side of the vehicle, you retain that prisoner transport. So you have your door panels, your window bars, and then a seat here. Very secure. Everything's blocked off from the rear of the vehicle. There's a rear cage mechanism. There's a front cage um, providing safety for the officer and whoever 
maybe being, being transported. Now we're going to hop inside and take a look at what we've installed inside the vehicle. But before we do that, if the camera can pan up, you're going to see two antennas on the roof of this vehicle. Now the rather large antenna is an antenna for the ACE K9 system. We had to use that antenna for the maximum range of the uh, pager system we spoke about earlier that would allow the officer to open the door and deploy the dog remotely. And then along the other side of it here, you're going to see what is called a Sharky antenna. Now what the Sharky antenna is, is actually an antenna that performs four functions. This one single antenna is going to give you your radio, it's going to give you Wi-Fi, it's going to give you GPS, and cellular connection. So if you have a modem in your vehicle and you have a radio, you can accomplish all the data to all those items through one antenna, one hole in your roof, and it's rather stealth looking as well. The third antenna you see there is the Ford factory antenna. That is non-removable on the utility. On the sedans, we can actually remove um, what is actually a dummy antenna and place the Sharky there so it looks very factory. All right guys, here we are on the inside of the Ford Interceptor Utility K9 vehicle. And you're going to notice one thing, the windows were tinted. That was also done at rapid response. Again, one time, one stop shop, everything done here. We have the Havis swing out dash mount. You see this in a lot of our videos. It's very common with our customers to go with this option to allow a, here we have a convertible laptop that is stored in a tablet form with a TG3 rugged keyboard on a Havis swing out to allow the keyboard to pivot out of the way, can swing over. This is the same keyboard you may have seen also in our other videos that has the detent to allow you to adjust the keyboard or simply take it off and sit it in your lap if you're going to be writing an extensive report. Go ahead and lock this back in here. Now here on the console, we're gonna kind of start at the top and run down through. We have the Eltron scanner installed for the customer. And in front of that, we have the mic pack for the Coban camera system, which we'll get into that a little bit later. So mic pack for our Coban, Eltron scanner on a magnetic mic clip, very secure, yet allowing them to simply retrieve this device without having to fight with a mic clip that's only uh, one direction. So here we have a switch for the K9 fan, a switch for the light in the K9 compartment. So we've got that red and that white. And this door will open, like I had said in the video earlier. So now your dog, if, would, if it would need to, could get out of the front of the cage. We have two 12 volt accessory outlets. You see uh, the officer already has some stuff in there. Uh, we have the Carson SC409 Siren light controller. Uh, very basic, basic, simple controller. You have a three position slide switch, a turn knob for your siren, and then you have six programmable buttons here. We've installed the customer supplied radio. Uh, they have an open sky system in this vehicle. The Ace K9 Hot and Pop Pro system we had spoken about earlier. Uh, cup holders and there's no armrest in the vehicle due to uh, not having room for the cage. Now continuing along with the setup of the Eltron and the computer, if the camera pans up here, you're going to notice a printer headrest solution that we've installed here, which allows the printer, it's a Brother Pocket Jet series. We have many of the Pocket Jets available if you're interested in this. Um, allows it to be stored on the headrest, so it will print down the passenger seat. Instead of a lot of common uh, ways of mounting the printers would be here, and it prints into the officer or into the passenger. Um, if you do have a passenger, it is nice that this mount is actually padded. There are other offers um, for mounting a printer like this, but they're not padded. We pan to the front of the vehicle now, or towards the um, visor section here. You're going to see that interior visor bar from Phoenix that we spoke about earlier. And then you're also going to notice the Coban Fusion HD system. Um, this is a, a system that can do one of two things. It can either be a system like we have here that does not do Wi-Fi upload, or for a little bit more, you can get a system that will do Wi-Fi upload when you pull your car back to the department, it hits the access point and transfers all your files. All right, guys, in closing, I just want to thank you for taking the time to check out this vehicle showcase. And we really thank you for your support on social media. Continue to follow us as we start to bring you more interesting and more interesting things. And uh, if you're local to the area, feel free to come by, check out 911 Rapid Response. Uh, we have a lot of offerings in the showroom um, for public safety, but also for uh, everyone else as well. Thanks, guys.